Vario Audio is also great for making harmonies, and this is something I do a lot. And again, knowing your scales, you know, really helps. You can do it on a real global basis. Uh, I, I know that the first chord of this song is a G, so I know that that harmony is going to be start on a B. And then looking at it by scale, I can say, okay, well, there's, it's got to be a C and a D, so I can already pull that down. Now, of course, I'm going to have to go through and listen to that and see if that's really uh, the right... You don't care if it hurts. Shoot me down with your words. So then I'll go through and I'll have to listen to that with the chords. I'll have to listen to it with the lead vocal. Uh, it's amazing how often these days I'm using that tweaked, very audio... Um, harmony as the harmony, you know, when you mix it in to the track, you know, at the right level, you can really get away with it. Even if it sounds a tiny bit tweaked uh, by itself, the timing is so tight. Uh, you also tend to preserve the sound of the voice. So, you know, where is it to harmony? Like, ve like very often, for example, in a chorus, um, you're going to want that harmony to be above the melody, you know, to really pop out. Um, and more often than not, the chorus is sort of pitched to the top of the top of the vocalist's range. So then, if they're going to sing it, you're sort of in a position where they might to do head voice or falsetto, um, and it can actually lessen, you know, sort of the impact of the chorus because you've got this falsetto, much softer sound in there. With the very audio harmony, uh, you kind of preserve that chest voice sound, if you like, or that full voice sound. And um, you don't have to, you know, um, put in a, a much quieter kind of vocal sound in there. The other thing I'll do is, you know, let's say we want to do that, but we want to double it, is I will simply make this harmony first. It's also great, even like what you find often is that vocalists kind of have an idea of where they want the harmony. Um, but they, they can't kind of work out every note. It, 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 it's it's quite rare actually, except for with really experienced, say, session vocalists, um, that they can sing a really accurate harmony um, that's note perfect. <clears throat> so when you do it this way, you can actually in consultation with the vocalist, basically work out the harmony first. You can put everything together and then you can listen to it back together and say, okay, how does that sound? And then you can go, okay, well, look, this C could be a B, you know? You know, so that's quite a regular thing. There's sort of like a semitone choice with the harmony. This one gives us a sort of major seven sound. This one gives us a more fourthy sound, you know, for example. And <clears throat> once you've worked it out with the vocalist, then you have this harmony, and then you can simply play the harmony and basically teach them the harmony, and then they can sing it along if you want to actually record it for real. Um, but what I'm doing so often now is even in that case, I'll keep this tweaked vocal in there as well. So I might have the tweaked vocal and then I'll get the uh, vocalist to come along and sing that once or even twice for a double track of that. And then I'll go into Vary Audio and you can actually match it up. I'll show you an interesting thing about this. Um, right here, okay. I find this is a really good trick. So we have that one there. Sorry, we have this one here. Now this is our original vocal that wasn't tweaked. And this is the one that was. And we can look at, look at those on the same screen at the same time, which is very handy. So, you know, this is a more extreme example, but let's say your vocalist has tried to sing this harmony, but hasn't quite done it right. You can go, you can match it to what the other vocal was. So effectively start pulling these things up to the same blocks, if you like. This is just a really handy, quick sort of way to be able to quickly match vocals in this way. Um, <clears throat> but what I want to often do these days is, even if we've gone through and we've sung that harmony uh, for real, if you like, copying the very audio harmony once we've made it, I'll still keep the very audio harmony in there because for me it's like another singer. Um, effectively, you know, the vocalist has their a particular tone when they're singing up here and they're singing the harmony, but the very audio harmony that we've made, which sounds like this. You don't care if it hurts. Shoot me down with your words. So even if that has a slight tweaked feel, it kind of gives you the 
effect of having another vocalist in there. That's how I feel about it because it's another tone um, that you can use and mix into your chorus just to give it a little bit more thickness.